In this episode, we'll take a look at the SoundShark parabolic microphone. First of all, what is a parabolic microphone? You can see here, sort of a dish. And in fact, you could probably hear that when I turn it this way. It's amplifying the sound um, and sends it all towards a focal point in the middle. In fact, there is a microphone, a little lavalier microphone. You can just barely see it right there. Uh, mounted here at the focal point of the parabola dish. And uh, what this does is has it, it captures sound from a larger surface area and sort of focuses all into this microphone, the lovelier microphone. So the idea is that you should be able to pick up cleaner sound from a distance with something like the Sound Shark, and they even claim that it should pick up better than a shotgun microphone. Let's take a listen to some samples. In this case, we're about four feet from the Sound Shark, which is sitting on top of my Panasonic GH5S here. And uh, the Sound Shark is actually recording into my sound device's 888, and uh, this is what this sounds like. So. If you're relatively close, but you're in a situation of some sort where you cannot put a mic on somebody, um, here's an option here. So uh, let's play the camera audio, and then we'll also play the Sound Shark. In this case, we're about four feet from the Sound Shark, which is sitting on top of my Panasonic GH5S here. And uh, the Sound Shark is actually recording into my sound device's 888, and uh, this is what this sounds like. So. If you're relatively close, but you're in a situation of some sort where you cannot put a mic on somebody, um, here's an option here. So uh, let's play the camera audio, and then we'll also play the sound shark. Bow is bent and drawn, make from the shaft. Let it fall, rather, though the fork invade the region of my heart. Be kent unmannerly when there is mad. What wouldst thou do, old man? Thinkest thou that duty shall have dread to speak when power to flattery bows? To plainness honor's bound when majesty falls to folly. Reserve thy state, and in thy best consideration check this hideous rashness. Answer my life my judgment. Thy youngest daughter does not love thee least, nor are those empty-hearted whose low sounds reverb no hollowness. The bow is bent and drawn, make from the shaft. Let it fall, rather, though the fork invade the region of my heart. Be kent unmannerly when there is mad. What wouldst thou do, old man? Thinkest thou that duty shall have dread to speak when power to flattery bows? To plainness honor's bound when majesty falls to folly. Reserve thy state, and in thy best consideration check this hideous rashness. Answer my life my judgment. Thy youngest daughter does not love thee least, nor are those empty-hearted whose low sounds reverb no hollowness. The bow is bent and drawn, make from the shaft. Let it fall, rather, though the fork invade the region of my heart. Be kent unmannerly when there is mad. What wouldst thou do, old man? Thinkest thou that duty shall have dread to speak when power to flattery bows? To plainness honor's bound when majesty falls to folly. Reserve thy state, and in thy best consideration check this hideous rashness. Answer my life my judgment. Thy youngest daughter does not love thee least, nor are those empty-hearted whose low sounds reverb no hollowness. Happy holidays from Mavater Salt Lake City! Now my assessment is that this is a specialty tool. It can be helpful in some situations, but I don't know that it would be something I would choose to use in every situation, certainly. Most commonly, you'll see these on the sidelines at football games and other sports games. And the idea, and typically they'll use larger ones, but the idea is that they'll be able to capture some of the gameplay and stream that up to the video village or the control room. So I think from a practical standpoint, I think this was pretty useful in the sample we had of the corporate video where there's the whole office saying, you know, happy holidays. In that case, I noticed this picked up a lot more bass than the camera microphone. So we were probably, I would say 15 yards away. I think for people that are birders that really want to capture the sound of birds where you just, there's no practical way to get closer without scaring the birds off, something like this could be really useful as well. Now, if I'm recording someone doing just regular dialogue, obviously, a lapel mic or a lavalier microphone mounted on the person is going to get a better signal to noise ratio and it's going to sound better than using something like this 20 yards 18 meters away so there's a time and a place for it uh the thing that 
Soundshark does is they actually kind of pitch it as something that can work nicely in a variety of situations. Wedding videography, they suggest. Again, I've done a little bit of wedding videography. I would probably prefer to use a lavalier microphone if I could. But if that just isn't possible, then the Soundshark is going to be better than using the camera microphones. Um, I think another case here, they talk about event videographers and production companies. If you are a location sound mixer trying to record a live event, say, for example, like a press release or a uh, sort of question and answer session at a convention, and you want to be able to mic the questions from the audience in particular, this could be a really useful option. Then you could have someone with a boom pole and be able to kind of, you know, at least point it at the person asking the question and have a fighting chance of really kind of getting that question. It makes it a lot more pleasant experience. That's one of all the kind of really frustrating things I find in corporate video is that when you're trying to film it and there's no mic on the person in the audience or you have someone running around trying to carry a mic to a person asking a question out in the audience, it's just really kind of a rough experience for those that are watching. So something like this could really help. Uh, you can get a variety of different versions. You can get just the dish itself and use your own lavalier microphone, or you can actually buy it with a lavalier microphone. We'll put links to the website below. I don't, I'm not earning anything from this, so this is all just kind of purely informational. Um, the microphone that you can order with it is a Countryman B3, I think. It's a customized one that's been voiced specifically for use with a parabola like this. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Now, one thing I would like to see changed a little bit, as you can see here, there's a shoe mount on the bottom. You can actually unscrew that shoe mount and then there's a quarter 20 threaded tap on the bottom. I'd really love to see for that to change to a 3 8 inch tap because then you could put it on a boom pole. That'd be one nice change, I think. But nevertheless, even with a quarter 20, it's a relatively small um, product. So it's not, it wouldn't, you know, quarter, the quarter 20, tap is enough in terms of, you know, being sturdy to hold something like this on the end of a boom pole, but most boom poles have 3 8 inch um, threads on them. So in any case, that would be something I would like to see changed. So overall, I think it could be useful for those different situations. Again, probably not the sole microphone for every purpose, but could definitely solve some practical problems. So hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Bye.